my colleagues in the in the Netherlands is actually working in schools with children on bullying using the living inquiries. <clears throat> so we we do. Um, I've done I've done sessions with children before, obviously in a very simplified way. Um, I think one of the one of the biggest things that would would help children is to understand that all of their feelings are valid and and unacceptable. You know, as children, we often get told, don't we? Don't do that. Don't you know? Don't cry. It, it, go and do, you know. We're constantly told how to be and what to feel, aren't we? And I think for for many of us growing up we then start to shut down in some way, don't we? We close down parts of ourselves that we think are not acceptable. Um, we stop doing things because, because maybe we've been told off or... Um, so I think one of the things this, this work does for both children and for adults, actually, is, is to support us to, to accept what's here, that what we're feeling is okay that there's not something wrong with us. And also to understand a, a bit more about the workings of our system, that we do have thoughts and images going on in our minds, feelings and sensations, and so on in our bodies, and that the two are often interconnected. You know, that if we, going back to the spider's example, because it's a very simple example, if we're scared of something and we get have an image of it, our body responds, even if we're not, even if it's not actually physically happening. Likewise, that if we, if we feel bad about ourselves in some way, we can question that that that's not actually reality. So you know, if I imagine myself as a as a child and I was I was very shy, I was a very um, you know, I tried to do my best all the time, I was a bit of a perfectionist. I would love to be able to support that girl in saying, you know, you're okay, actually. Um, and that's one of the things that actually happens in sessions, that we, we find ourselves with that, that young part of ourselves often and we're able to, to give it the support and the validation that it didn't have all those years ago. So when I work with young people now, um, I work with not, not so many children, but certainly uh, people in their early 20s and late teens, it's great to think that they won't have to go through all those decades of believing there's something wrong with them because they're looking at it now. And I think to bring that into schools in some way or to um, enable children to have that kind of insight that they've got a whole world of richness and vitality and creativity within them, fantastic. Mm -hmm.